Hey folks, it's IOE Throne. We're back with some more World of Tanks. So as you can see, this is Lurpy and his Lorraine 40T. This is a tier 8 game on Fjords. And uh, this is the Fan Pick Friday. Um, yes, I'm aware this is not Friday. Uh, that was a mistake on my part. So what happened was uh, last week I was in a rush because I had done enough stalling and and um, what's it called procrastinating that I had only a couple days to get about a week's worth of videos up and upload to YouTube so that you guys would have something to watch while I went on vacation. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna pause this before we get into the, into the action because it's gonna take a little bit to go through all this and I do want you guys to actually know what was going on and I, I am sorry. Um, so basically I have a system where I I open emails as something interests me and then I put it up and, and, and it's, I open the, uh, what's it called, the, the battle report into a certain place and just kind of like line up. So I make a, a line up of three or four or five, whatever, how many I plan on getting done for the day. And then I go through them in order so that I can keep straight what I want to do. And basically the P Fan Pick Friday got omitted from that list and so I just didn't record it because it didn't occur to me until I got home Monday and and I saw a comment on YouTube being like wow what about the fan prep Friday and that was when I went back to that one and went oh face palm I forgot to put the fan pick in the lineup so I'm sorry for that it's going up today we're not going to do a fan pick for this week because I've screwed up enough <laughs> for one week, <laughs> and we'll pick it up again next week. Um, and this about the same is similar reasoning why I didn't end up doing the duo. Um, there should be a duo game going up this Saturday because it should have gone up last Saturday, but I ran out of time because I procrastinated and then didn't have enough time to actually do it. But I did get it recorded, so I just got to get it edited, and it will be up on Saturday for you guys. And uh, Thursday, Friday-ish for Patreon, to pay on how early in the week I get this done. Um, other than that, what else is going on? No, I think that's pretty much it. Again, I'm sorry for the lack of videos yesterday. Um, things just were crazy. Well, first day of school for my daughter and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, anyways, let's hit the correct button to get this whole thing on the roll again. I almost hit the button to stop recording. That would have been bad and annoying. But anyways, um, so the, this is the Tier 8 French Premium, um, medium tank. I always want to call this thing a heavy tank because it, it, it feels like a heavy tank in so many ways. Mostly the size. And it used to... It used to not have much speed, so it used to feel like it heavy tank in that way. But uh, now that it's come back as a premium tier 8, this thing has actually been told quite good. And now we get to sample it. Um, okay, so before we get started, as always, uh, we're just going to murder this poor challenger. Nope, we, we in fact missed the challenger. Um, <laughs> we're going to get started, as always. If you guys want to support the channel, one of the ways you guys can do so is by checking out my new partner, uh, Sleek Supply Co. They make awesome watches. I I currently have the, um, this is the Dark Chocolate, and I truly enjoy this thing. I haven't taken it off in like two weeks or something like that, except uh, for showering. Uh, though it is water resistant, I have this thing. Don't don't go into my um, your synchronicities. You won't. You'll never find your way back out again. But anyway, so uh, yeah, this thing is water resistant. It's beautiful and sleek and awesome. And uh, I'm going to shut up about while we go into killing this poor T-34A5. We just, I guess he wanted to die. So he just sat out there in the open waiting to get shot again and again. And Lurpy just helped him out with it. Now at some point I hope Lurpy is going to fix his gunner. Not that he obviously needed it for that last shot. Uh, so I do notice he's carrying half and half ammo. I'm not certain it's a need thing. Um, 232 penetration isn't amazing, but 263 isn't all that much better. So I'm not thinking that um, 
he's gaining a whole lot by having carrying this much from me ammo. But uh, I guess we'll see as the game goes on. If he ends up running out of stock, standard ammo, and uh, is just using premium ammo because he needs it, or because uh, it's the next thing in the clip kind of thing, then it's going to cost him an arm and a leg for no particular reason. But uh, we'll see if he ends up needing him. He just works his way through this KBA-5. Um, this poor guy. <laughs> Either was not expecting the clip on the Lorraine, or was not expecting that damage output from the clip. As uh, <laughs> 1,200 damage in a very short amount of time is a great way to take out tanks of this tier. Um, yes, I know he only did 800 and some odd damage to KBA-5. That's not, that's not the point. The point is that can do <laughs> 300 times 4. 1200 damage. Uh, we are already on 1700 damage, and this T3485 is again, again, an, not you, the, you need the ammo rack, but yes, that's one way to take out a T3485. So we're gonna get the backs of more tanks that are just not paying attention? Mm, no, I don't think we are. T29's not available, looks like. We do get these tank destroyers though. A Scorpion G could do some serious damage to us. If he was paying attention, as uh, Gurpy goes ahead and just fires that last shot into the dirt, because really, who needs the extra round, right? It's obviously just showing off how amazing he is. I am <laughs> not, not needing to fire them all into the enemy tanks. Um, unfortunately, he's not loaded, so peeking out there was really risky. As that Scorpion G had turned around and decided to shoot him in the face, there's not much he could have done to stop him. E25 is trying to pull. The Scorpion G around is actually succeeding in doing exactly that. Or if he's just going to come out and kill the Seriously? Yes. How did you mess that up? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. I just punched the headset. I gotta take that out. <laughs> and if I don't, I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean to punch the headset. Okay, so. He's reloading, reloading in, dodging rocks, and he's just going to push on towards where he thinks the enemy heavies are going to come up. Um, this thing is fast enough that it can get around the map pretty quickly. It does, though, need a running start or a downhill. So because of the fact that he was on the, uh, on the upper side of this, the slope, he actually makes good time down here, and he's going to come around this corner and probably end up facing off down here somewhere. No, is he going to stay up here? And wait for them to come to him. Um, I understand why you do that as far as the game goes, but uh, or as far as like not taking any damage and uh, and killing them goes. But uh, well, the game is almost over. There, there's there's not going to be many more chances to get this damage. A nice job with the tracking, and he. What? Why didn't you retrack him? Okay. <laughs> I understand you want the tracking damage, but you should have done the tracking with the first shell, or the first shell tracked him, and then the second shell he just fired into it, and the third shell should have tracked him again. But for some reason, Lurpy chose to shoot behind the drive wheel so that it just did damage, and then instead of doing damage to the guy, he chooses to track him. So he does, he does, he makes a decent amount in tracking damage, true, but I don't know if it was worth it, really, all things considered. Um, should have tracked him with that second shot and then just put the third shot through the tracks again to kind of retrack him. It, it wouldn't have made much difference over the long term, but it would have, um, meant that he would have got uh, a good bit more damage and tracking damage in. Now, <laughs> Rippy's really wishing at this point in time he had one more clip of standard ammo uh, because three shots is not going to kill the AC4 experimental and the Hummel. Uh, so he's going to end up spending some premium ammo here for something he doesn't need to spend premium ammo on. Now you can see uh, I wish he hadn't knocked down that tree because that told exact everyone or told the humble if he was paying attention exactly where Gurpy is. Um, it should be noted that Gurpy, huh? Yes, 
our J Panther is being really helpful right now. We're, so we're just going to ignore him. Um, <sighs> whoever you is not a two strap for the enemy. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so... Uh, if Gurpy gets, if the AC gets a drop on Gurpy, it will not be the end of the world. Seriously, what's with the knocking down of trees? Leave the forest alone and go and find the enemy. Um, I currently okay. So, in these kinds of situations, he either needs to push around from here, or he needs to push around from here. I uh, yes, he can sit the back corner and wait. But um, I don't recommend that because of the fact that he has the advantage on health. He really does need to push that advantage. I don't mind him knocking over these trees back here because it tells the enemy, if, if they have my home was paying attention, that he is back here somewhere, which is a defensible position. And seeing as Gurpy's actually looking like he's going to push around this way, uh, this being a defensible location is something that... If the enemy thinks he's going to hide there, and it turns out he's not, like obviously he's doing, then that puts the enemy at a disadvantage for assuming that's where he is. We'll see if the enemy falls into some sort of trap because of this, but I do like this. Now, um, if Gorpi was going to sit and guard somewhere, I'd prefer him in this area so that he could look both ways. Now look at that. AC comes to hunt him down and he's in the wrong location now. Um, our team was right. He is in fact a two shot for us. So we'll see if Gurpy manages to do anything about that. Unfortunately, knocking down and yet more trees um, while trying to find the enemy. AC we know is just fired. I don't remember what the load, out, or the load time is on that thing, but Needless to say, yeah, well, now we know everything's reloading because there's no way Gorpy yet. Exactly. It doesn't reload. And unfortunately for him, again, he has too much uh, premium ammo, and now he has to reload an entire clip of premium ammo. Um, as long as he doesn't go roll, he should be okay to two-shot the artillery. Now, we're just going to fast forward a bit because, um, well, nobody wants to see him reload and wander around killing innocent trees okay so uh, keep it a little bit from fast forward until we see the artillery he shouldn't be blind firing there's no way the, the Hummel can kill him uh, assuming the Hummel even hits him well, now we know where the Hummel is. And there's no way he doesn't have time to go back for the Hummel, so he, he's going to do exactly that. We're going to fast forward because nobody wants him to see, see him traverse the map again. Um, yeah, I could see firing into there. But uh, really, honestly, there's re no reason not to just push up because of the fact even the, the Hummel hits him in the side from point-blank range, or the rear, he's not going to die from that shell. Whereas if the Hummel gets hit by two shells wires, then the Hummel is definitely dead. <laughs> that happens. Now, could you have done that all with standard ammo? Yeah, yeah, could have. If you remember the fact that the Hummel only has 300 health, and if you hadn't rolled so horribly badly with a single shell, yeah. With an average damage of 300, you could have done 300 in a single show. So it's, it's true he didn't necessarily need the extra clip of standard, but I would say it's probably better in the future if he runs an extra clip of standard. Especially if you're using the tank properly, you should never be shooting at the front of enemy heavy tanks. You should always be circling around and firing at their flanks or the side of their turrets while they're looking elsewhere or otherwise are distracted or, you know, whatever. That's saying if it's used as a harasser and a flanker, does exceptionally well. Um, and I can't actually wait to... It's one of the tanks that's, that's on my list to buy if I ever have the extra coins laying around. Um, 
and then using this thing at tier 8 to tier 10 will be just a joy I'm sure um, that beautiful camera job by the way I do quite enjoy that cool so this is, was the fan pick Friday for last week uh, again this week there won't be one and next week we'll start off again I'll uh, I'll put up the straw poll in the next few days and get you guys starting to vote on what you want to see next so thank you all for watching, and thank you, Gurpy, for this. And uh, let's go see the battle reports before I forget. Mastery Punch, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Demolition Expert, Duist, and Fire for Effect. Yeah, I think he earned that, <laughs> don't you? Hmm. The only tank he shot at that he didn't personally kill, being the Scorpion. Everything else that he shot at, he finished. That's uh, quite um, well done, actually. It doesn't happen a lot. But uh, that's okay. High caliber, and of course, the top gun. Not that we care. 4,400 damage dealt for 9 kills and 1,600 base experience. Good lord, that experience, right? Made a boatload of credits. He would have made a boatload more had he not fired any premium at all. Um, but still, completely worth it. Most of his shots connected and then went in. And thankfully, he didn't... Well, he only got shot a couple times and didn't bounce anything, unfortunately, for him. But good job having that personal reserve running. Still, this is something achievable. Had he just been uh, on his daily double, this would have also been a similar game as far as uh, the outcome for it. So it is achievable by anyone out there, whether or not you're running the, or the reserves. And thank you so much for Lurpy for saying this in, and for us all getting to watch it. Thank you for everybody who voted on the poll. It ha it's um it's great to see you guys actually using that, and uh, I'm glad that you guys want to see this. I have truly enjoyed this game. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Thank you all for watching this IOE throughout.